Nick, light your hand on fire and slap him in the face. So, Kevin. Yeah. What are we doing here? I need dishes and I need soap. And I feel like they go through an awful lot of both here at this restaurant. That would make a lot of sense. I also feel like the dishwasher has no idea exactly what those dishes and soap are capable of. I'm not sure that I do either, Kevin. What are they capable of? Exploding and catching fire. Sick. I'm down. All right. A kitchen can be a crazy, hectic place. Between dish soap, fire, and wine glasses, we're going to test the limits of some common kitchen items and this wait staff. Hello, ladies. Thanks for helping me out. Uh, so have you ever held fire in your hand before? No. no. It sounds like an incredible power, doesn't it, to be able to hold like a ball of fire in your hand and not hurt yourself? Yeah. Do you believe that I can do that? No. no. You're afraid to. Well, <laughs> I, ask, I have no choice but to prove myself then. Watch carefully. You might see something surprising. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are crazy. How did you do that? We have butane in here, which is a flammable gas, and that's what's filled the bubbles. But we also have soapy water. You notice that I dunked my hand in the water bucket first. So I had a layer of soap and a layer of water below the butane. So when I lit that gas on fire, all that water heated up and gave a little protective layer of gas between my skin and the fire, and I didn't burn my hand at all. So, now that you've seen it, now that you believe it, would you like to try? Yes. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> With the help of my chemistry assistant, Annalisa Emig, we prepare our brave volunteers' hands for their own fireballs. This is dangerous, and we are advised by experts, so please never, ever try this one yourself. Now, high up in the air. All right, ready? Oh, oh, man. Oh, my God. It was totally insane. I was, like, trying to run away from it, but it was on my hand, so there was no running. Oh, oh. It was like intense. It was crazy. It was literally like an out-of-body experience. I could not believe that that was what was happening right now. <laughs> it was the coolest thing I think I've ever done before in my life. Darren's shot with the FLIR thermal camera reveals the temperature of the flame, which appears white. It reaches 310 degrees Fahrenheit, but the cold blue hands don't burn. So how did it feel? A little warm. A little warm. We like to say it's like holding a bowl of soup or a loaf of bread. So why don't their hands burn? The secret is in the soap bubbles that lie beneath the butane bubbles. They create an insulating layer between the fire and the skin. As the butane burns upward, the resulting vapor layer continues to create insulation from the fire. We don't have the power to hold fire in our hand, but we have the knowledge of how to hold fire in our hand. And as they like to say, knowledge is power. So now you are powerful. Thanks, guys. <laughs> While these folks get back to work, Nick has a much more dangerous experiment in mind that you should also never, ever try. But my good friend Darren is just the man for the job. All right, Darren. I know you like fire, so I've arranged for a surprise. Nick, light your hand on fire and slap him in the face. That was a good slap. So how can Darren survive this? The butane burns off so quickly that the flames don't deliver enough heat to catch his beard on fire. And there's another reason. Just as Nick wet his hand for protection, he prepped Darren by wetting his face and beard, insulating him from the heat. That was a great slap. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that. I'd like to review the slap again and again and again. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I guess we should let Darren cool off. And it's break time, so I have even more of the restaurant staff on board to get their hands dirty with fire. Are you guys ready to set yourselves on fire? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how it goes with a bigger group of people. You seem very skeptical, sir. I me, mean, because I've never did it. I'm hopeful that it will be successful. Me too. <laughs> Can the butane flame be transferred down a line of six people without burning out or burning anyone first? Everybody ready? Three, two, one. How do you feel? It was like mind blowing. It's crazy. It was so scary watching the fire <laughs> just slowly get to me. Chasing you, yeah, yeah. yeah. To me, like I wanted to run away, but my hands were there, so. <laughs> Thought it was really cool, but it definitely freaked me out. <laughs> Can I tell you how we did it and why that works? Yeah. Okay. Because you dunked your hand in soapy water. That's it. When all that gas lit on fire, the water absorbed the heat and evaporated, leaving a little pocket of gas between your skin and the fire. You're fine. That worked really well. I really liked watching the fire kind of travel in that arc uh, sort of form. But let's close the loop and make a ring. Sound good? Yeah. Let's yes. do it. Excellent. This is going to be intense. This is weird. I'm afraid. All right. Three, two. Oh, my God. Whoa! <laughs> Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. That one freaked me out. I'm sorry. <laughs> That was awesome. I feel like I have to keep looking down at my hands to make sure they're OK. <laughs> and please do not try this at home or any other uh, honky tonks that you visit. <laughs> the wait staff has to get back to work.